I have been out scoping the areas and uh, set some game cams out. We got a little bit of bear on the camera. This time of the year definitely is a good time to get a bear if you're gonna eat it. We're gonna see how it turns out. Hopefully that bugger's still in the area. Brianna is the one who is gonna be pulling the trigger. See, uh, she's definitely capable of it. I'm not really worried about it. As long as we see one, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be able to put a hole in it and put it down. Uh, I'm making my own rounds. It's kind of, you know, uh, not buying it from the factory, you know, saves you money. And, uh, you know, you barely get a little bit better bullet, a little bit more accurate bullet. Bang, oh, rang. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Bullet made, ready to go, bang. Bark beers are definitely something to respect. They can definitely end you if they want to. Hmm. I think I might have jerked a little bit at that one. Yeah, just relax and take another shot. I, kind of, you might, I saw you pull that one. Yeah. I'm definitely an experienced hunter. I've been doing it since I was really little. My dad would take us up on mountains. We'd go down through muskegs and always get deer. So I definitely feel the pressure that we need to go get a bear. Get out of the way, Belle. Go. Come on. Go. Come on. You got this. I figure I can do it. I think you're hitting it, man. Bullseye. This one, I'll shoot a bear. All right, let's try to get the hell out of here. All right. First bear hunt. Yeah, hope it's a good one. Hell yeah. There ain't no other place I could ever live, you know, other than here. It's so beautiful, but yet brutal at the same time, and it reminds me how lucky I really am. Get all them chips out. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. This one's a really dull one right here. I can see it's been rocked. Oh, yeah. Oh, have you tried it now? Go to this one right here. Like this. From the moment that I moved here, I've heard that Curly was an amazing logger. It's exciting being able to actually hear about someone that's this good and now getting taught by him. Even strokes go all the way through. Don't worry about being slow or anything. It'll all come with time. Chainsaw is a very, very dangerous piece of equipment. It has no mercy on anything. With me probably having more chainsaw experience than anybody around here, I mean, it kind of makes sense for me to teach her and teach her right. It's been amazing finding a new friend out here. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll check your homework and see if you pass. Ooh, damn. Thank God, you better be careful there. They'll put you on full time. <laughs> Very good for your first time. I'm excited for this. Yeah, well, next thing we to do is load all this stuff up in the back of the truck and we'll head out and go we'll see if we can find some standing dead trees. Yeah. Are you ready for this? No, but we'll find out. I've got two different types of cabbage, and I do believe I have a couple of little Brussels sprouts here. These are Brussels sprouts. They look identical. See, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. Can't tell the difference. That's why I have the labels still in them <laughs> with their seeds. These are going to be going in the, in the ground here pretty soon. I can get enough soil to plant them in, and the dirt I'm going to be using 
is dirt that I've freshly made. It's similar to this dirt right here, but it's never been adjusted. And it needs it needs to have its pH adjusted. Morning, morning. Morning, morning. I was just talking to my babies here <laughs> until they're going to get new homes pretty soon. They'll be happy. Yeah, I think that the tide is climbing now, so we should probably get, get cooking, Absolutely. We need to get the heck out of here. Matt's my oldest son, and he's back in country now for the summer. So we're going to take a little joy ride down the coast to a little rock pile. It's about 15 miles south of here. On a nice day, it, it kind of reminds me of an atoll in the South Pacific. This is my absolute favorite time of year because everything is growing now, and it's not too warm. Perfect working weather. Absolutely. It's real important to me to be able to source my garden vegetables locally. However, most vegetables don't grow here naturally, so you have to harvest this bounty of shells that happens to exist down there. Put that in my garden and recreate the environment that they need to be productive. Well, that looks like a good spot right there, dude. Extremely approachable. <laughs> I can't see my feet. <laughs> Yeah, I feel kind of funny walking through this much uh, yeah, I Indian celery. You can just see how lush this growth is. It's going to be good for your vegetables, I can tell you that much. Well, I'm thrilled. Have you ever seen what they look like under a microscope, sandy beaches? No, I have not. That's amazing. Looks like the cosmos. These things seem thicker than the standard butter clam shells that I'm used to digging. So I'll bet you these are just really old, back from prehistoric times. I, you know, I never did the paleontology thing. Well, I had a little epiphany one night when I was laying in bed, uh, just thinking about, you know, the upcoming gardening season. And a little bell went off in my brain, went ding, ding, hey. You don't have to buy lime anymore. You can just gather up enough buckets of crushed barnacles, blue mussel shells, a wide variety of clam shells, remove all the moisture, put that in my garden, and raise the pH. So in the future, I'll have, you know, probably a lifetime supply. All right, let's head home. There's something about this place that's unexplainable. I don't want to sound like a weirdo or a hippie or something and say it's magical, but there's just something. OK, I wasn't going to start this early, but we got a pot of bait jumping in here. Something's chasing it, so we're going to give it a shot. OK, I am going to troll for cohos, which are silver salmon. I got a plan to build a cold smoker, so what I want to do is, is catch enough fish to fill that smoker, and uh, hopefully I can get this done before it starts raining. Well, it actually just started. I should have never said that. <laughs> before it stops raining. Oh, yeah, they're jumping right in front of the boat. I'm going to go right through them, get into the kill zone up here. OK, I have no idea how deep I am. Oh, yeah. This feels like salmon, maybe. Definitely bigger. Rockfish, you got to be kidding me. The rockfish definitely like my presentation. But I need the salmon to come after it. Do me right, God. Give me a salmon. I want to fight a real fish. Oh, that's a salmon. That is a salmon. Oh, I think I missed him. Oh, he's there. He's there. He's there. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go under 
the boat. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose him. Oh, he's pissed. We have salmon on the boat. Oh, that hurt. Oh, cool. That got the blood moving again. Let's get right back at that. It was raining and wet and some wind here and there, pretty soggy, but I stayed and I made it pay. Oh, man, that's fun. Son of a I got another one already. <laughs> Woohoo! I barely got to sit down. Oh, don't you dare go away, man. You're going in the boat, bro. Boy, they are down there thick today. Yay, more meat. Right on. My fishing trip went from dead to red hot. Woohoo! I found the spot. We're in them. What I have found living out here, you know, you just got to learn to not be discouraged and just stick with it because it's trial and error, and one day you're going to be successful. Hey, chill. I got to get these fish cleaned and brined and ready for the new smokehouse. I got plenty of fish now. Peanut butter and crackers are my favorite. Ooh, I just did that last night, actually. <laughs> That's why I open these. I'll eat a whole pack of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're me and Brianna definitely have uh, years of experience uh, hunting deer. It's kind of how we feed ourselves and get our meat. But when it comes to black bear, we definitely don't have any experience with that. This hasn't even turned black yet. This is today's fresh. Feel it. It's not warm yet anymore, but it's fresh, fresh. Hasn't turned black yet. It's a huge good sign. All righty. The work starts here. I want to be able to hang the whole fillets of fish in there like you see the natives do it, that been doing it for years. And they fillet them down to the tail like this. That way they just hang in the smoker like that. I got to get these fish smoking. Yes. This is my retort vessel for going inside the incinerator. You put your product in here, whether it's wood. This case is going to be ocean seashells. And I'm going to bake them hot enough. I might have to fire it a couple of times to get them to turn into powder and add it to my garden to sweeten the garden, help bring the pH up in the soil. Time I get this old girl into the shop. I built basically a homemade device here a while back so I could cook myself up some charcoal. I'm going to take that technique and I'm going to superheat a big batch of shells. But the last time I fired up the retort furnace, the base got really warped out of shape. So I'm going to have to cut that off, put some legs on that. Bingo, I'll have a new furnace. go. Sometimes you just need to have a bigger hammer. Ah. Property of oil company, Kansas City Ammo. This thing came from Kansas City all the way to Alaska. God knows how long it was floating around before I found it. And now it lives on. When I look at trash, I see valuable things. And I think when 
the bulk of society looks at trash, they don't see the value that I see. Every time I repurpose a piece of junk, it, uh, it makes me think of my dad, because my folks were products of the Great Depression. So even from a real early age, you didn't throw anything away that you could repurpose. This is just all by guess and by golly. I just want to make sure it'll stand up. I'm in the process of doing the same thing that the old timers did. And I think we should all teach the, the younger generation, you know, how to keep a weather eye out for uh, just about anything that you can repurpose. This is going inside the incinerator. I want to make sure. Okay, there. Look at that. Fit right in there. That fits in there just the way I wanted it to. I guess it's time for me to start a burn here. This is the spot. This is it. There's a couple yellow cedars right here. Is that one of the ones you were thinking about cutting? It, yep. Perfect. Sounds good to me. I'm going to watch you do it and learn a thing or two. OK. Cool. This thing's almost bigger than me. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Firewood is the never-ending story. We're always going to need firewood year-round. Freaking nasty out there. I know. Rained like a cow pissing on a flat rock. I am looking forward to being able to go out and cut down a tree myself to be able to get firewood when Carl's gone. This lifestyle does not afford us to be able to wait to do things. This one looks like it'll go right where we want it. Looks a lot bigger from right here. <laughs> yeah. I've seen my dad grind and sharpen many chainsaws. I do know the potential for danger of running these things. It's not a toy. Curly is going to walk me through what I need to know and correct the mistakes that need to be corrected. Curly is one of those ones that has been doing it so long, he knows what he's doing. Oh, yay. There's our undercut. Yeah, that's the start of her. So it's got to be that way to pull the tree where we want it to go? Yep. Yep, absolutely. OK. I guess we're ready to let this tree fly. There we go. I've caught several newbies. I really don't do it too often. I mean, it's. Uh, want to feel responsible if that person did ever get hurt. Logging is a very dangerous occupation. It's like one of the most deadliest in the world and that. You got to respect that fact. Otherwise, you ain't going to come home one night if you don't. Done deal. It went where we wanted it. Yeah, you did that amazing. That went exactly where you said it was going to go. Oh, that's my favorite smell in the world. Don't get any better than that. Yeah, no, this is amazing. There's one down. Yeah. The next one's yours, too. OK, I am down with that. Good Lord. A little hard work, you get her done. Whew. This is my chest freezer. And it's not energy efficient. So I want to convert it into a cold smoker because having a freezer that runs all the time zaps my battery bank. And basically, all I need is a box that holds smoke. So I think this is all usable, and it's going to be easy to clean with that surface on there. Let's get busy, Rox. 
If this works out, it'll be huge for me because this will add to my ways that I can preserve fish. It's kind of what you do out here. You use what you got and figure it out. Beautiful. Now, what I need to do is have my fire here and then run a pipe into here. So that way, when the smoke goes in there, it's cold. That is what I'm shooting for here. My plan is to cut a hole in here and a hole in here, so that marries this burner. Now, how I'm gonna cut through that metal is gonna be another uh, thing I have to figure out, but well, there's a wheel, there's a way, Roxy. There's lots of ways that you can preserve your meat out here. The difference between a cold and a hot smoker is my hot smokers, I have the heating unit right inside the smoker, so it cooks the fish. This, I'm going to put my heat source outside the smoker. Then it's just the cold smoke coming in and flavoring my fish. Hell, I was going places there for a minute. Good enough for government work, huh? Who gives a what it looks like as long as it works? I like it. And it doesn't even look half-assed. Well, I think all I need now is some alder, and I'm going to fire this thing up and see how she works. I love it when a plan comes together. Your heart's definitely pumping when you're kind of walking up on this spot where you don't know if at any turn you might see a big bear sitting there. And so the adrenaline was definitely pumping. Bear tracks right here. Yeah, instead of bear tracks or Bigfoot tracks. It's a good, good sign. With this bear hunt, I guess I'm just trying to prove to myself that I can go out there and do something I've never done before and be successful at it, even if I'm a little bit scared. That's weird. I wonder what that's all about. It looks like a dead eagle or something. Yeah, it's big wings, so Huge definitely wings. an eagle. America's crying. There is so much shine back there. It's definitely a berry area. It gives me hope that we'll get something, maybe. Yeah. Well, my left eye is messing with me. Holy man. I see a bear right there. I see his back right over there over the edge. Yeah. All right, I'll just on it. Go. Leave the here. Get the guns and go. Just grab your gun. I see a bear. I see a bear. Let's go. Let's go. I see a bear. We see a bear. Let's go. Let's go. We got a bear. We see a bear. We see a bear. We'll wait forever and we finally see one. Yeah, there's no idea that we're here. We gotta be really quiet and make sure that we're just sneak up on him. We're on the other side of this island and he has no idea that we're here. He's just lumbering around happy as a bear. And so we're gonna try to sneak up and get a shot on him. I'm gonna stop over at those islands on the way and uh, see how far that range is. Well, we've been scoping out the whole bay from this little rock out here. And uh, we finally saw a nice ice bear over there on the beach, right where we were seeing him lately. And so we're going to try to sneak up on him and see. Hopefully, we can get a shot. Hopefully, he, show, he shows himself to us. Yeah, this stuff will torch off really quickly. Get some heat going. I've got the retort furnace rebuilt. I've got the shells. I'd say now it's time to torture off, and I'll have all the calcium and lime and whatever I need to 
tune my garden up. Now for the kindling. When you fire this retort furnace off, you want as much wood packed in there as you can possibly fit. It's imperative that you get it up to a certain temperature and keep it that way for several hours. A little air on the bottom, a little air these on the top, and all the loose ones in the middle. It Add a little go juice. Well, let's see if we can get ignition. It's got to get up to a certain temperature, then that waste oil will get hot, and it'll start burning the gas. It'll get real flammable real quick. Houston, I think we have achieved liftoff. And that, my friends, how to bake some clam shells. So, I don't know where the f is. Bradley, you went right here. Keep in mind, we're going to the woods after a bear. I know. Okay, take it off, and then hit. Once it fires off again, hit the trigger real fast. Okay. Take your chain brake off. Chain brake. I'm. I'm gonna call it. I'm not gonna f this right now. It's starting to frustrate me really bad. I feel like we kind of came to the timber. I don't really know what to do here now. Do you think you might have stayed down like on the beach, like inside of the beach? Is that what you think you did? Maybe. So you're saying we came all the way back here for nothing? Well, I don't know. Obviously not this way. Or he's gone. Like. Damn it. One got away, man. I got some alder back here close. This just lends itself well to the salmon because it's a very mild wood. It just is great flavor for the fish because you can still taste the fish. It doesn't overpower it. Got my wood. Now I can fire up the smoker. Yeah, it's easy to get frustrated. You know, you just adrenaline rush wears the person out. And you are doing great. You're doing a very good job, Morgan. I mean, no. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's, I mean, you really a little are. weird for you, me. You pay attention. I like that. Kind of scary sometimes, even though this is the easiest part right here. <laughs> Take a break and come back to it, and it'll be all good, you know? I had a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm just waiting for that thing to burn down, and, well, I could have I could curl up and take a nap, but sun shining. So I conned myself into singing, singing the blues. The only way I could, you know, be the most accurate description of, of what I am or who I am in this community is I kind of know a little bit about everything. I hear a lot of people refer to me as the mad scientist. There isn't hardly anything I haven't tried doing out here, you know. You name it, I've done it. I don't have an ego, you know, the size of a Volkswagen minibus or anything like that. I just know what I know. Unfortunately, <laughs> that makes me a know-it-all. So I'm the village know-it-all. Fire looks like it's burning down a little bit, and I'm going to let it go out, cool off. Tomorrow morning, maybe I'll come out and see if I got some uh, some product. But I'm actually kind of comfortable right here. <laughs> maybe I'll just sit and watch it a little bit longer. All right, are you ready for this? No, but we'll find out. Well, there's your tree. <laughs> Your tree is ready to be cut. OK, you want to walk me through these real quick? 
lift up on your trigger. Oh, yeah, that's right. And push it all the way down. OK. okay. Now let her rip. You're going to have to hot, come clear around right where my finger is. So how am I doing that? I've never done a. Try to keep it as straight, as level as you can. You're going to aim it right for that bull pine. Go ahead and start that. That adrenaline rush that you get when you're running a chainsaw, there's nothing like it. And she's shaking like a dog prune pits, but uh, it'll get better. It's just part of learning, you know? Now, come here. Go ahead and put it up like I showed you. Just like that. Go for it. This is my first treat. Curly's letting me do it and learn. So it's kind of scary. You did it. <laughs> so now you're you're ready for your back cut. Yeah. OK, I'm going. Yep. Put your saw out. Pull it out. Damn. Holy <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. I got the shanks now. <laughs> <laughs> I think your lip was quivering. <laughs> I, well, it's vibrating me, and I'm just sweating, and it's just, honestly, this thing is still heavy for me. Yeah, it is. <sighs> you just cut a nice, smooth cut off the butt of that. Always leave that stuff out in the woods. I'm still very nervous using the chainsaw. But the more I do it, and the more I get out there, the better I am able to run it, and the more comfortable I feel. Beautiful. Look how nice them. You're throwing some big ass chips, too. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> that. I mean, little tree, but I can't even keep this. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> For the first time, it's a beautiful stump. The, the beauty of it is, is it went exactly where you want it. Well, let's see what we got. It's been cooling overnight. Oh, look at that. Let's see how tough that stuff is. Yeah, see, that's what you're looking for right there. You can just crunch that in your hands. This will turn into small pieces and powder. The consistency of these shells is just perfect. I can grab onto them and crush them. And that tells me that there's going to be lots of fine powder that'll be quick release. This is exactly what I was shooting for. Things don't get lighter as you get older. They only get heavier. But right now, I'm going to be screening my lime from these shells so I can get all the fine stuff. And that's what I'll use immediately. And my goal was kind of having a lifetime supply of this stuff, and I think I probably achieved that goal. Basically, anytime you add crushed shells to your soil, it raises the pH and allows your plants to accumulate the, the correct amount of nutrients. Yeah, I can just tell by the way it crumbles. It's, it's the stuff. If it's too acidic, it can't do it. If it's too alkaline, it can't do it. So you want a balance in between. Well, I'd almost call that enough, to, more than enough to probably do my whole damn garden. It's a pretty common place. It's, a, I think, some well-documented science behind that. I think that's going to be good for now. I'm going to take what I need now. 
get a couple buckets of this, pack it over to the greenhouse, mix it up, and we'll go from there. Sammy's secret recipe. Hey, Rocks, here we go. I am excited to see how this thing works. I got me some edible fire starter. Throw some corn chips in here and get this done. The trick is, is don't eat them all. <laughs> I think there's probably a lot of people don't know it, but when you're camping and can't start your fire, corn chips, potato chips, anything with a lot of oil, start your fire instantly. It's like fire starter. These are my alder biscuits that I cut earlier. This is where my flavor is going to come from. Now that I got this smoking pretty good, I'm going to just see what's going on with my smoke pit. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I think it's time to put that salmon in there now. The smoker's filling with smoke. I could fit a whole lot more fish in there. And uh, salmon smoked in this alder is unbelievably good. It is just delicious. I'm very pleased. Not bad for a bunch of junk I needed to throw away. It's gonna work. Well, from here we can scope out pretty much three cricks. Yeah. So. It's a good spot. Yeah. Yeah, a lot to look at. Yeah, well, let's find a spot to post up. With this bear hunting, it seems that's a lot of just sitting and waiting and letting them decide when they're going to come out for you. And you just got to be present and uh, clear headed in that moment. All right, the bears grow you in the sand over there. She's hit him or not. Um, I've thought that Brianna's missed before, but several times I've been proven wrong. I don't know what's going on exactly. I gotta get up here and see. Tore off the creek here. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Ah. <sighs> 
Oliver's out there on a mission to like keep looking to see if I wounded it because I have made shots where we think we it got away, but really it's just laying back there. But I really don't think that's the case. I don't see any blood anywhere. Yeah, now I just want to kind of lick my wounds. I'm kind of just bummed out about it. I never like when I make a bad shot, so. I don't know what the I'm looking for, dude. A little bit of hope. Now I've shot it up over here, so we're probably not going to see another bear. I'm really hard on myself when I miss an animal, just because that's one thing I feel very confident in. I pride myself in my shooting abilities, so it definitely hurts my ego a little bit. It just makes me realize that, like, I'm not perfect, and I have to just keep trying. It's our first bear hunt. Well, since we didn't get this bear today, it just means we got to go home and regroup and uh, decide whether we're going to try again for bear or we're going to have to find another food source for the fishing season. I'm definitely more concerned about Brianna. I really want to just go give her a big hug and tell her it's OK and that she's still a badass to me. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Go home here. I want to go home. It's OK. To find success here, you just got to work smart and find easier ways to do everything. And I keep getting better and better at it. Well, now, Rox, we get to find out how our smoker really worked. Yeah, we did good, Rafi. That rocks. Sorry, you can't have it. I think by me passing on my knowledge to the younger generation and that, you know, that's going to help Port Protection survive down the line. She's not going to have any problem getting her firewood, I don't think. Woo, I cut down my first tree. Yes, you did. <laughs> you did a good job. <sighs> It's a good first experience. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is the Gary Mulberger method. I about crapped myself one time. I went over there, and by God, if he didn't have some of the nicest cabbage I'd ever seen, boy, it's sure nice if he could come over here and see me doing this. I could just see him nod and wink. You know, that's how you do it. He'd, he'd be proud of me. Hell, I'm proud of me. I'm not a bear hunter. Not yet. Not yet. OK? I've made shots like that before, so that's what's like frustrating and upsets you, because it's just like, I've made shots like that, so. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Come here. Brianna's not done hunting bear until she gets a bear. The bear should have just let her shoot it, because really, she's got a grudge against them now. They're all in trouble. <laughs> they all need to watch out. I'm really stubborn, so definitely determined to keep trying. The second you lose is when you stop trying. Through the tree.